Hi everyone, this is an update on the Open Hand project. Now, one of the directions that I've always wanted to take this in is to branch out to make robotic prosthetics hands for children as well as adults. So I wanted to show you just a simple mock-up that I've made. Now, this is a dexterous hand for kids, and as you can see, it's stylized like uh, an Iron Man superhero. So, it's uh, got the Iron Man colors, and if I just connect up the battery, you can see it's got LEDs in the hand as well. Now, obviously this isn't going to work at this stage, it's just a mock-up to show what it might look like and the sort of size of it and the scale of it. But it just shows what you can do so quickly. I came up with this idea two days ago and I already, already have it um, looking something like what it would if it was finished. And the reason I decided to do this is because prosthetic hands for children, they cost just the same amount as they do for an adult. But because the child is growing all the time, you have to buy a new one every couple of years. So it's even more expensive than it would be for an adult. You have to spend this £50,000 every couple of years for maybe 10, 20 years of the child's life. Now, yesterday, a friend brought my attention to a story about a child which she'd seen on Daybreak on ITV. And this, this child, Marshall, he had meningitis when he was about three years old. And he had to have both of his feet and both of his hands amputated. And his parents were working to pay for him to have prosthetic legs. So he had blades on his legs so he could get up and walk around. He was going to have to have a new set of prosthetic blades every couple of years, each time costing around £80,000. And so there's no way that they could possibly afford to give him hands as well. And I'm hoping that with the Open Hand Project, that might change. And there's a very real possibility that he could be able to have something like this on each of his hands instead of nothing at all. And the reason it's stylized like a superhero is because a child can really relate to that. Uh, kids love superheroes, and if they can put this on, it's going to make them feel a lot better about wearing it. They can show it off to their friends. It's not something that they want to hide or that they're ashamed of at all. It's something that's really cool and uh, really interesting to show off to people. And we're not just limited to Iron Man. We could also do Batman hands. Um, we could do the Hulk with a super strong grip or something like that. But it's important to mention that this is just a first early prototype. It's not working yet. And it's just a, a direction that the project will go in in the future if it gets funded. So to finish with, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everybody that's supported the Open Hand project so far. It's been an incredible response, nearly 500 funders. Uh, loads of local people, international as well, hundreds of people from all over the world have got behind me on this project and they're helping fund a revolution in prosthetics. So thank you so much, keep sharing, uh, keep the pleasures coming and look forward to seeing these hands in a year or so.